future nurses, trust me when I say these are five endless most tested pediatric disorders you need to know okay and i also have endless review on pediatric disorders on my youtube channel at scrub and spoon go review that now let's go the first disorder is rsv respiratory syncytial virus this is a viral infection of the lungs and bronchial common in infants less than six months in fact it is the most common cause of infant hospitalization especially during the flu season the um, fall and the winter season rsv is transmitted through respiratory droplets and the isolation precaution for these is both contact and droplet precautions okay signs and symptoms include running nose coughing wheezing fever retractions and low o2 saturation okay now treatment option for this is supportive care parents can use nasal saline spray or drop to help with the running nose and the congestion okay in the nose right another supportive care for rsv is fluids encourage fluids in these babies okay and also um, remember, you can also suction them in the process in the presence of um, secretions or um, um, congestion. You can also help suction the airway. And I need you to know this: never, I repeat, never you use aspirin in children with um, viral infection because it can cause Ray syndrome. And what is Ray syndrome? Ray syndrome is inflammation of the liver and the brain. So you don't want to let that happen so never use aspirin in children with viral infection and also monitor airway closely because this may cause risk of apnea in infants and what is apnea apnea is sudden cessation of of breath during sleep and then kick up again okay so monitor for that in these infants now let's go to the next one the next disorder is croup and the fancy name for croup is acute laryngotracheal bronchitis okay now croup is a viral inflammation of the upper airway causing narrowing of the upper airway viral infections such as parainfluenza causes inflammation of the larynx the trachea and the bronchioles and this later leads to dyspnea that is difficulty breathing now endless wordy endless tip the hallmark symptoms for croup is what backing cough i repeat backing cough always endless tested okay and another symptoms you will see is inspiratory stridor and now stridor is the high pitch sound you hear due to the narrowing of the airway okay and other symptoms include tachypnea, fever, hoarseness, okay? Now, treatment options are nebulized epinephrine, right? You can also use um, corticosteroids um, for inflammation, to treat the inflammation. And in severe cases, intubation might be necessary. Also, nursing teaching, you can teach the parent to have cool mist humidifier in the child's room and also uh, let them ensure that the baby is calm because um agitation or restlessness can worsen the symptoms so the baby needs to be calm okay lastly ensure patient is well hydrated and now the next one is epiglottitis this is an emergency now epiglottitis is a life-threatening bacterial infection of the epiglottis right causing inflammation and obstruction of the airway. This is mostly common in children between two to five years old. And children that are not vaccinated, especially the HIV vaccines that have not taken their HIV vaccines are at greater risk, are at greater risk of getting epiglottitis. Signs and symptoms include drooling, dysphagia, fever, sore throat, 
respiratory distress and muffled voice now this is the endless tip you need to write down do not i repeat do not obtain throat culture in kids with epiglottitis why because it can cause loss of airway or airway obstruction so never obtain throat culture okay now treatment option treatment options include securing the airway through intubation and since it's a bacterial infection you can give them antibiotics right corticosteroids to reduce inflammation and always um encourage um child or the kid to avoid supine position because it may worsen the symptoms now the next disorder is kawasaki disease kawasaki disease is systemic inflammation of the blood vessel in the body this means it is an autoimmune vasculitis affecting children under five years old kawasaki is divided into three phases the acute phase the subacute phase and the convalescent phase now in the acute phase you see high fever sometimes greater than 38 degree and it lasts between one to two weeks despite using antipyretics this fever doesn't go away or it does not resolve or sorted so the fever passes between one to two weeks this is in the acute phase also in the acute phase you will see erythemia that is redness all over different parts of the body you can see red eyes dry and sharp red leaves now the hallmark symptoms for kawasaki is strawberry tongue this is red swollen tongue with bumps on them strawberry tongue is one of the hallmark for kawasaki on ankles also their palm and the sole of their feet will be red you will see enlarged lymph nodes another hallmark another hallmark signs and symptoms of um kawasaki and cardiac symptoms may be present cardiac symptoms like um dysrhythmia like like um myocarditis okay so that ends the acute phase now let's go to the sub acute phase in this phase the fever has been resolved but you could see um there could be arthritis pale skin pale nail the pale um hands and feet sole of their feet okay and that's about the sub acute phase now let's go to the last phase which is the convalescent phase now convalescent phase marks the final stage of the illness and in this phase there is no more clinical uh, manifestation like the signs and symptoms are disappeared however abnormal lab value may be present in this phase there may be elevation of um, the crp and esr now crp and esr is a blood test that is used to detect presence of inflammation in the body so when this is elevated in this phase it shows there is still presence of inflammation and also their albumin level will be decreased and for the treatment option you want to give them ivig and this is intravenous immunoglobulin right and also you want to give them high dose aspirin hold up i know i mentioned never give aspirin in patients with in children with viral infection to avoid Ray's syndrome but there are some conditions that allow administration of aspirin for treatment and for treatment in children and kawasaki is one of those conditions it is the accepted treatment iv ig and high dose aspirin is used to treat kawasaki disease also remember never or do not administer live vaccine or immunization to these children until 11 months after administration of the ivig that is after the administration of ivig wait 11 months before they take any live um live um immunization of vaccines in live vaccines like mmr 
and um, varicella. Okay. Lastly, continue to monitor their, their cardiac function. Remember, I said it may cause cardiac symptoms like um, dysrhythmia or myocarditis. Okay. And the very last one is tetralogy of fallow. Tetralogy of fallow is four congenital heart defects in one. And we use the acronym PROV, P R O V, to remember each of the congenital heart defects. Now, let's talk about the acronym PROV. The P stands for pulmonary stenosis, right? The R stands for right ventricular hypertrophy. The O stands for overriding aorta. The V stands for ventricular septal defect. Now, the hallmark signs and symptoms of Tetralogy of Fallot is Tet Spell, right? And Clest Tested. Tet Spell. And Tet Spell is also known as Hypersynotic Spell. Okay? What is Tet Spell? Tet Spell is when the baby turns blue when they are crying or feeding. And this always happens when they are awake. So, when the baby is awake, always make sure to provide a calm environment to avoid triggering test spell episode. And if test spell happen, the first intervention is to put the baby knee to chest position, okay? And this helps to return blood flow to the lungs and reduce the severity of cyanosis and um, increase oxygenation. If this happens in older children, you put them in squatting position. Again, this helps to return blood flow to the lungs and this reduces the severity of the cyanosis and helps and um, increase uh, oxygenation and decrease shortness of breath. Another sign of um, tetralogy of tetralogy of a low is clubbed fingers. You will see them having clubbed fingers. Now let's go to the treatment. Treatment options can include surgical repair. Now this is um, repairing the heart defect, the heart, the congenital heart defect, right? And also oxygen therapy may be needed in severe condition. Lastly, always teach the parents to monitor the children and um, um, recognize the signs of tet spell and how to respond to them. Thank you.